Refugees were evacuated out of Afghanistan to the United States. 13,000 were temporarily relocated to the Fort McCoy military base here in Wisconsin. Local 5's Aaron Taylor brings us the stories of two refugees, one still waiting at Fort McCoy, the other settling into life here in the Green Bay area. At Fort McCoy, the days can be long. We are just sleeping and eating and doing nothing, you know, like our family, they need our support back in Afghanistan. Time stretches out in front of Sadiq as he waits for his family to be resettled. It's a far cry from the life he left behind in Afghanistan, where he worked with the U.S. military as an interpreter. The job took him on missions in the mountains, where he worked alongside U.S. service members. His connections through that job told him when it was time to leave Afghanistan. Well, like midnight, you know, I told my wife, like, I have a newborn son, you know, he's like two months old. So I told my wife, like, hey, get ready, we are leaving this country. And she felt like I'm joking. He wasn't joking. So we picked, like, one pair of clothes and we just leave our house. The journey to the airport, riddled with Taliban checkpoints. Like they were like, where are you going, you know? I was like, sorry, my mama is sick, so I'm going to take her to the hospital, you know. On the second checkpoint, they were like, hey, stop. Where are you going, you know? I was like, this is my wife, and she's going to her mother's house. They made it through the checkpoints to the airport to America. Now, they wait. We will be here for three days here, then we will leave this job and do, to, to, to do our jobs and make money to, to support our family back in Afghanistan. While his family waits, refugees have started arriving in the Green Bay area, including parties who was asked to be referred to by his last name only. We also won't be showing his face. He arrived in Green Bay over a week ago after spending time on a military base in New Mexico. It's a good place to live in. It is like a very calm, relaxed place and people are really nice to us uh, and it's a good place to live with a family. Parties also worked as an interpreter for the U.S. military. The life in Afghanistan was miserable. There was like a problem, but recently it changed to hell. A hell he was able to escape, but his family wasn't. How many kids do you have? Uh, I have four, but my wife is uh, pregnant. She, that, that, that are twins more, so that will be six soon. A family left behind in Afghanistan. I'm not exactly sure will, will they make it or not. But we, I hope for, for the good they will make it. Yeah, that must be stressful trying to... It is. It is very stressful, like every day. Uh, I, even I'm, I'm safe here, but mentally I'm, I'm still there. I'm, I'm worried about my family. Concern that will continue until his family is able to join him in Green Bay to live the life he imagines for them. Uh, since I've come here, I find out that there's a, like a lot of opportunities and there's a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, it's a good place for us and we, we see our future here. We see our future of the kids and ourselves. In Green Bay, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. As of today, 28 refugees have resettled here. Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Green Bay hopes to help as many as 125 over the course of a year.